Big broad shoulders are one of the most noticeable features of a muscular physique. Not only do they look great poolside, they stand out in a tee, and they make the biggest difference in how muscular your upper body looks. So today, I'm running you through my five favorite and what I consider to be the best dumbbell exercises you can perform for building bigger, stronger shoulders. Plus, I'll even share a little secret that makes a big difference about why you might not be getting gains in muscle as quickly as you'd like, even if you're eating lots and training hard. So you definitely wanna listen up for this one and hit that thumbs up button and let's get right to it. Matt Dashu here with Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Now, one of the main reasons most guys don't have as impressive shoulders as they could is simply because they pick the wrong exercises. Most shoulder days consist of multiple overhead presses in front of the neck, behind the neck, front raises, and all of these are targeting the front delt. Then, they might do a few sets of lateral raises for the sides, but that's about it. If you really want noticeable shoulders, though, you need to develop the lagging areas and pay more attention to the side and rear delts. That's what's gonna create that 3D effect and really make them pop. So let's get into this, and you'll notice there's much more emphasis on the side and rear delts and a lot less on the front delts. Exercise number one, the W raise. We're starting off with one of the best dumbbell exercises for the rear delts, because this is the area of your shoulders most often neglected, simply because you don't always see it when looking in the mirror. Trust me though, building up your rear delts is going to make your shoulders look much bigger when viewed from the side, and can help improve posture and overall shoulder health by having even tension on each side of the shoulder joint. So for this exercise, use an incline bench to support your chest and let the dumbbells hang straight down on either side. Raise your arms up to your sides while keeping your elbows bent and your thumbs pointing up. Your arms should form a W shape at the top. This allows you to pull your upper arms back further behind your back than regular reverse flies and places your shoulders in external rotation for a greater contraction in the rear delts. Control the weight back down and repeat. Exercise number two, leaning one arm lateral raise. Next is the classic lateral raise. However, performing these one arm at a time and leaning into the movement allows you to better isolate your side delt and increase the active range of motion for greater development in your shoulders. Grab a squat rack or support with one hand and then lean away holding a dumbbell in your opposite hand. Raise the dumbbell up to your side until parallel with the floor, trying to keep your arm as straight as possible and your palm facing down. Then, control the weight back down. Perform all reps on one side, then switch sides. Exercise number three, Arnold press. Now, just because most guys overdo it on front delts doesn't mean we have to completely ignore them. So this is one of my favorite exercises to work the front delts because it also involves the side delts a bit at the same time. Start with your palms facing you at shoulder height. Brace your core, squeeze the glutes, and drive the weights up overhead. Rotate your palms outwards as you drive to the top, then reverse the motion back down and lower under control. Exercise number four, chest supported incline Y raise. Now, these are gonna be great for both your side and rear delts. Set a bench on a high incline and brace your chest against it, holding a pair of dumbbells on either side. Raise your arms out to your sides, slightly in front of you to form a Y shape at the top. By having your chest leaning forward into the bench, it will keep tension off your front delts and on your side and rear delts instead, where you want it to help build more width in your upper body and emphasize that V taper appearance even more. Before we even get to the fifth exercise, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video, and then leave a comment after the video to let me know which exercise is your favorite for shoulders. Exercise number five, push press. Lastly, we have virtually the best exercise you can perform for developing explosive strength and power in your shoulders. The added momentum and leg drive involved in this exercise allows you to pack on the most amount of weight and achieve progressive overload much quicker than with any other shoulder exercise. Plant your feet about shoulder width apart with a slight bend in the knees. Keep the core braced, squeeze the glutes, and drive through the heels to use some momentum to power the dumbbells up overhead, being sure not to clank them together at the top, then control the weights back down and repeat. You can perform each of these exercises on their own as a standalone shoulder workout, or you can incorporate them throughout the week in a regular training routine, replacing your traditional shoulder exercises. Hit the thumbs up button and let me know with a comment below if there's any exercises here you haven't tried yet. Or if you have a favorite shoulder exercise not mentioned in today's video, let me know what it is. Now, for that secret I promised you earlier. If you haven't been building muscle as quickly as you'd like, even though you're eating lots and training hard, sometimes the little details can make the biggest difference. Without the right amount of fruits and vegetables each day, there's not much difference between a dirty diet filled with fast food and frozen dinners and a clean diet of chicken breast and rice. Micronutrients, 
the vitamins and minerals we get from fruits and veggies, are like the nuts and bolts that keep everything in our bodies functioning properly. Getting enough can accelerate the processes of building muscle and burning fat, plus help with maintaining healthy energy levels without the need for mid-afternoon coffee or sugar-filled energy drink. Not enough, pretty much the opposite. And I don't know about you, but on busy days, I'm lucky if I can get a couple meals in each day with a good serving of veggies or fruits. Nowhere near 56 servings per week that's recommended. That's why every morning now, I have Blue Star Nutraceuticals Roughage Fruits and Greens Formula. Every serving contains 38 all natural whole food powders, including many that I'd normally have trouble finding or cost a fortune to get every day. That way, I know when combined with my diet, I'm virtually guaranteed I'm not missing any micronutrients to help my body build muscle and burn fat at the fastest rate possible. You can easily mix it with a protein shake, but the pineapple coconut flavor is so good, I usually just mix it with a glass of water and enjoy it by itself in the morning. So if you're looking for a quicker and easier way to get in your fruits and veggies, or perhaps get any at all for a change, go ahead and click the link in the description below and use my code MD10 to save yourself 10% off all the roughage you need along with any other Blue Star Nutraceuticals products for that matter. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you never miss our brand new videos and workouts every week, bringing you the best ways to reach your fitness goals quicker and easier. Now go build those shoulders and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, if you like this video, check out this one. It's killer. Make sure you're subscribed. You can click the link here if you're not already. And don't miss out on your chance to stock up and save with this incredible offer.